Eastern in this hour from CRN Digital Talk Radio, America's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. I don't know, Paul Stern, and I don't know if our audience, if you've been following in the Chile, these miners that are uh, stuck in that coal mine, and uh, they have, uh, they're have they okay. They were able to bore a small hole and get food to them now, and they can get messages in and out. But uh, so far, they're saying it may take as long as till uh, December to get the miners out of this uh, coal mine. So they've got to keep the miners in uh, good spirits. They haven't really told the miners how long they may be down there. But they've got people from NASA on the scene talking to the coal miners trapped in the earth, saying, you know, kind of giving them advice and information. Because, as you know, if you're in outer space and you're on the space station, uh, you are there for a long time in confined spaces. Here's one other story that I know a lot of you are fighting the battle of the bulge, but the coal miners have been told that they need to keep slim so they can squeeze out because they need to be just 35 inches around the waist. That's how skinny they have to be. Uh, They've been told they'll need to be so they can squeeze through the escape tunnel that is uh, being dug. And uh, so uh, they're applying uh, just a a holistic plan, trying to support the miners' well-being during the months that they're going to be still down on the earth. And uh, they want to make sure that uh, they have exercise, other activities that keep them from gaining weight. So those of you, like myself included in that, that have been trying to establish yourself back on some kind of a health regimen and eating correctly and getting some diet going again, this is a key. Think of yourself. I mean, I think about being a miner stuck in the ground. You might just go crazy, and you got to stay level-headed. you got to stay there and work and talk with the other people that are with you, keep everybody going, and only 35 inches around the waist. I think I'd be stuck down there for a long, long time, Paul Stern. <laughs> talk about level-headed. Uh, I was quite pleased the other night when uh, we were dining at the uh, – our local Trader Vic's restaurant. Uh, when yeah, what was that all about? You didn't get a chance to really mention that on the well, show this week. Under, this was a special occasion well, you were there? Not, not really a, much of a special occasion. It was kind of a, a get-together to, with family and friends. But okay, uh, that's good. We, were, we were ordering the, the wine, and they have a rather uh, nice little wine list there at the uh, at the Trader Vic's restaurant, which is also adjoining the, uh, the resident, uh, uh, what is it, the Beverly Hills Hilton restaurant uh, on property. And... Uh, uh, we selected a uh, one of those Jack London vineyards at at a Sonoma. The Jack oh, London, yeah, yeah. Vineyard. Jack London, the author Jack London. There and there is a vineyard there called Jack London Vineyard. What'd you have? It was a Merlot. Good. It, very good. What'd you pair that with? Uh, that was just paired with the the food that, that was brought to the table, which included the various appetizers like beef on a stick. Oh, so beef, it would go well with beef. Oh, and very well with the. They the have food. a lot of food on the stick at. Uh, at Trader Vic's, and it's quite tasty. I found very nice. They kind of bring it to you, and it's kind of—I mean, it's kind of a double-edged sword. And I hate to kind of say this because I really enjoyed myself, but uh, uh, when in ordering and, and, and dining in that style, I think it could be easy to actually run up quite a bill. Uh, I did really? note. I did. I, well, I did notice that the, the dining t- for the, the, the you know again. I have nothing. Somebody in your party hitting the old pocketbook there by saying, "Let's get another." Well, no, no, I, no, 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 no. The, 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 the bill was never in question of anything, but I just did kind of. You picked th- the tab up. No, I. Well, it oh, was one no. of those things where it was completely evenly split up. Oh, that's the, fine. The, the people there. But here's the thing, Paul. It, it was different than what you're talking about. Sometimes you can. Uh, Watch the old calories and save money by just ordering appetizers in a cocktail no, instead of getting the. the, the no, we, there, there wasn't any money to be saved. No, no, no. you order the full uh, the full entrees. But no, no, it was it was a, it was an experience and it was great and I would do it again. But again, if for those of you looking for value, I kind of get the think the impression that we could have gone down the street like to Ruth's Chris and and like lived it up large, probably and brought home a little extra in the pocket. Really? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so how many appetizers approximately? Oh, there were quite a few appetizers. No, no, we ordered. There was quite a few appetizers. You know, sometimes I just can't decide, and I, I know I'm watching the old bulge and trying to keep the oh old boy. 35-inch waist there. But they have something on an appetizer menu sometimes called a sampler, and the sampler seems to have uh, a little of everything from the appetizer. So if you can't decide whether you want like the fried uh, chicken strips or the uh, the grease balls or the, the, the <laughs> Or the meatballs, like just like Mama made, you know, and some of the deep fried chicken, and some of the uh, the fried onion rings also there, and the large, uh, large greasy and salted French fries. I, I didn't notice you French can order fries them. And onion rings I don't the know if that's a Trader, Trader Vic's, Vicks, but some <laughs> restaurants have all those items in one huge platter they can bring to your plate, and then it's just dig in and have some good eating, and you can decide which 
the one is the most healthful yeah. after a, two or three samplings. Is that what you guys did? Sample we I we did get the sampler, the the sampler, but I uh, I don't believe that was nearly no. sufficient. No, it was. Well, it's some of these restaurants kind of just wet the palate. <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the restaurants, especially the Mexican restaurants, is not sufficient because then you need nachos, which are not included usually in the big sampler, and then you go for the big number three, where it gives you like two enchiladas, two tacos, and two or three chili rellenos, and you put that in there with a big mound of beans and some rice for you vegetarians out there, and then just wait for the flan. That'll be coming, trust me. The flaw signifies it's all over. We'll be back. If you'd like to write to us here at C103.